So in this video we'll be going over some of the benefits of using MyCNC and we'll be starting off with our cut chart support. So cut charts that are supported by MyCNC software are extremely useful for plasma and gas cutting applications because they will load your cutting parameters such as your cutting speed, your cutting height, your pierce height, curve compensation, etc. Uh, from the cut charts tables and then they will automatically set up your CNC control and your peripherals such as your plasma power source or an automatic gas console. And we support uh, popular power sources such as your uh, Hypertherm HPR and Hypertherm Max Pro series as well as uh, the Kelberg Cutfire and Smart Focus series. Um, and you can find the full list on our website over at www.pv-automation.com download. So, for example, let's say you have a Hypertherm PowerMax 45 power source and you'd like to use a uh, cut chart table from it. So you can scroll down to the plasma cutting cut charts here, locate the cut charts file, download it and save it to a folder of your choice. And after you have downloaded the file, you can move this file over to your opt slash mycnc folder and please note that I'm using the Ubuntu Mate installation here not a Windows installation for mycnc so after we have our necessary cut charts file in the mycnc folder we can go into the mycnc application and navigate over to our settings our configuration technology cut charts and then we can locate the cut charts database file name line right here. If we'd like to import this file, we can type in the name of the file that we've just downloaded. For us, it will be powermax45.sqlite. Uh, we press the save button and we import this file. After a short wait, the file will be imported. And if you go back to the main screen and into the cut charts widget, you can see that we now have access to all this information. So for example, we can choose our technology, our material and our material thickness. And after that, we'll be given some options right here that we can select and we can see all the consumables and all the other information on the main screen like that. And for example, if you have a power source that is not listed on this main plasma cutting cut charts list back on the downloads page, but for example, you have a manual or a CSV file that you have compiled from that manual, you can easily import a CSV file uh, just as you could with a, an SQLite file by going back into your technology cut chart settings and uh, scrolling down to your uh, import CSV cut charts option. Here I'll be using the same uh, PowerMax 45 file because I already have it on hand, but you can use any CSV file you have compiled provided it matches some guidelines uh, for our cut charts. So let's say I have typed in the PowerMax 45.csv, I have pressed the import button, and after a short wait, an SQLite file will be created, similar to the one before, uh, that I can use just as I would with a file that is developed by us and vetoed by us. So at this point, um, you can use these for any application you require. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at docs.pvautomation.com for more information.